What's happening, financial coaches and people thinking about financial coaching? I want to talk to you today about the limitless earning potential of financial coaches and why it's a win, 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 win for everyone. It's the best career uh, decision that you could ever make. And for people who might be finding themselves out of job or with extra time or staying at home, you know, you can't say no to it. It's a no brainer to get a financial coaching. Let me tell you what makes financial coaching so amazing. First of all, there's no certification required. There's no licensing. There's nothing you have to do. You don't even have to go online and read a definition of a financial coach because it's totally unregulated. And so you can get started in 10 minutes with it. Now, um, the only other thing that you have to do is you have to love talking to people who doesn't love socializing, hanging out with people. So that's really awesome. Also, you don't have to go into an office. You don't have to have overhead. You don't have to be associated with a big company or a broker dealer or uh, an insurance agency or anything like that. You can work from home. You can even travel. You can go overseas. You can work from a beach or from poolside and do the coaching there. And so it's one of those things where it's just the perfect virtual job. And because you're your own boss, you get to set your own hours, right? Not only setting your own hours, but we'll talk about the money and the, the flexibility with the hours, but set your own hours. Work from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Maybe work just from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., right? You can work when you want. You can work when you don't want. You can just sleep when you don't want. You can vacation and travel. Uh, the hours are totally yours. Um, you know, why not just say, hey, I'm going to work one day a week, just Mondays, that's all. And then I'm going to have the rest of the time to invest in myself and my family. Now, the best part about this is you can make tons of money. So for a lot of financial coaches, they may charge $150 an hour, meaning that if you work this as a full-time job, you can make $330,000 a year for no experience, no training, right? Just talking to people and having conversations, $330,000 a year. So now you're probably thinking, hey, I've got a job. It pays $80,000 a year. Why wouldn't I uh, take this job for $330,000 a year with all this flexibility? Well, think about that, right? At $150 an hour, if you work just 10 hours a week, that's $80,000 a year. You might be able to uh, cut your work time by three quarters and keep the same amount of income, right? You can spend time with your family. Think about getting uh, four working days back to your life. You could just work, you know, eight to eight on Monday and make the same amount of money you're making now. And here's the best part. There's always a need for it, right? People are always in financial distress. Some people always need help with their money. You know, this is a growing need. As you go into a recession, there's just going to be more demand than ever. And you just help people and change lives. How awesome is that? You're not selling anything. You're not pushing anything. You are just literally using your powers, your powers of persuasion and knowledge to help change people's lives for the better. Um, and there's never any confrontation, you know, after every session, after every engagement, ever, after every new client, all they're going to do is email you accolades, tell their friends and family about you. They're going to embrace you, hug you, send you gifts. You're going to be part of the family. Uh, it's amazing because it's, you're going to feel just like a family member and yet you're going to be paid for this. And the other best part about this is it's ongoing income forever. So your clients are going to want coaching ongoing, right? They're going to see the value in working with you, even if they just buy one session or maybe a package of three sessions. That's just the tip of the iceberg. They're going to say, hey, in month four, I've got to work with you again. Month five, six, seven, it's going to be year 10, 15, 20. They're going to be with you your entire life. You're going to stop selling. You're going to live on referrals. You're going to just work with your existing uh, client base. And the money is just going to come in and they're going to be so excited about sending it to you because of all the value that they're getting from you. It's just going to be ongoing income and, and just a little bit of effort right now is all it's going to take to set you up for life. And it's going to be hard to shut it off. You're going to say, hey, why should I retire at 65? This is just something I can do from my beach house in uh, the Bahamas and just do it remotely. And the money keeps coming in and I love it. And regardless of my age, I have so much wisdom and value to, to pass on to people. And so uh, the reality is maybe you just need to read a couple books, read a couple of social media posts, read a blog post, create a little cute home office workspace with a little vintage uh, faux weathered motivational quote behind you and some nice paint and a flower and, and a couple of your finance books lining the back row here. And then you're off to the races. It's just limitless money. It's a money printing machine. So if that sounds like something that you're interested, you got to sign up for financial coaching right now. You got to get on board. <clears throat> And I have a training program for you, you know, and it's just a few bucks, but you'll plow through it in a week and you'll be off to the races and, and your uh, wildest dreams will come true. The heavens will open and all your prayers will be answered. Does that sound like what financial coaching pitching is to you? Um, I bring this up and I bring it up facetiously because these are a lot of the bullet points that I think people, when they're looking at financial coaching, think about. And I'm going to go into this. Why, you know, I'm going to do another video called 
why financial coaching is the new life coaching and, and kind of talk about some of the myths and try to bust some of these for you. But the reality is if all of these things are what people are using as a pitch to get into financial coaching and they sound great, um, does it sound too good to be true? You know, what have you heard about that? Right? Uh, no preparation, very little effort, all online marketing. And yet all of this money is supposed to be coming in, right? So let me just say that I've been doing financial coaching for a few years and financial wellness, some with a dedicated financial coaching program. And even with the backing of a large company in one case, we just could not make the numbers work for the program. And it ultimately became a volunteer financial coaching, a coaching program that was just set up to train people on coaching, if that makes sense. So we were just looking for people that wanted to volunteer in their own communities, in their own neighborhoods, in their own towns maybe with an agency, maybe with their church, uh, maybe with their peer group or their friends or whatever. And then we would provide them the electronic resources to train them on how to do it because uh, the business for this is actually pretty difficult. Now you can make money in this. You can make a lot of money in this for sure. I'm not saying you can't, but what I'm saying is that 100 people come through here and my guess is that 80 people, 80 per of those people aren't going to make any money. I bet another 10 of those will be uh, washed out or say that they're bringing in money, but it's barely enough to get by. And then maybe 10 of those will say, hey, I'm making a living on this. You know, and I'm just ballparking here. But the idea that financial coaching is an answer to all your problems, that it's only good things, that it's only interesting and fun engagements, and that it generates money, and that people will be knocking at your door and uh busting your door down to, to work with you, I think are fallacies that you need to have, oh, some uh, open eyes to see through before you get into this, because I think you are coming in with really high expectations and it's very easy to be disappointed. It's very easy to be dejected. It's very easy to say, hey, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing this to waste a lot of time. So all I'm doing is it's saying is that if this sounds too good to be true, it probably is. And if you aren't expecting to come in and work and train and to continue to learn and to cut your teeth with tough clients and things like that, you're probably coming in with expectations that aren't going to be met. So that's it for today. I'll talk to you later.